is there a moment of divine protection in To Kill a Mockingbird? Welcome back to Alyssa's Movie Takes. I got to see To Kill a Mockingbird in theaters because it's still COVID. There's fewer movies being released, and so theaters are being creative and offering you the old movies. I went to go see To Kill a Mockingbird, and I'm going to spoil this for any of you who have not graduated eighth grade and have not read To Kill a Mockingbird. But toward the end, the villain, Bob Ewell, goes after the two, the two children, uh, Jem and Scout. And I saw this moment of divine protection in that Scout is in a school play and she and it's celebrating the agricultural uh, exploits of their town. And she's dressed as a ham, which is a funny, funny costume. And I think people have probably worn it since then. It's basically a paper mache ham costume with small little eye slats for, uh, for her to see out of. And that's it. That's all she has that's actually exposed except for her legs. What I see as the divine moment of protection is when Scout at the school play cannot find her clothes at the end. I can almost imagine angels hiding it. Now, why do I see that as a moment of divine protection? Well, as they're walking home, the bad guy attacks the two children and Jem is severely injured. And the only reason that he's not able to get to Scout quickly is because she's protected by this ham costume. Eventually, their neighbor Boo does come to rescue them, which is also probably a moment of divine intervention, a mix of human and supernatural help to coming to these two children at the moment of their greatest need. But can you imagine that this is, this is something that God might do, that this is something now we might send angels, that it's like, oh, I can't find my shoes, I can't find my, my clothes, what happened to it? And he knows what's coming on the way home from their walk from school. So he hides the clothes so that she has basically armor on, not incredibly effective armor, but enough, enough to give Boo time to get there so that uh, Scout is not instantly killed. I especially see this because I've seen it in my own life. I'm gonna tell a story of, I'm in my car, um, my Susie two and my Susie one, my Suzuki one, my God car number one, I was driving home from work on a 55 mile an hour road, so it was a highway. I glanced to my left and this SUV was careening right toward my driver's side door. It was, it was within inches of my door. And for a split second, I saw an angel. I don't see them often, but I saw it right then. And he hugged my car. So it was his, as if his wings had expanded to cover my entire car and his, his face would have been toward my driver's door. So he would have been facing inward, not outward. And it was just enough for me to see it for a moment. And then I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw that same SUV somehow as if it had hit something had totally 180'd and then it hit the guardrail and it flipped over twice so that it landed right side up. I know that my story is not new, and I drove, I, I, I think I called it in because there was, now there was this car that needed help, but I kept going unharmed, but I should have, that SUV should have been into my car, but that angel showed up in that moment. Do you have any stories of divine protection that you'd like to share? And what I love about literature is that was very subtle. You know, it wasn't like they credited God in that moment, but I saw it as something that was very much to God's credit of protecting Jem and protecting Scout from not getting killed. Jem is injured, but he's not killed. You can look at that a lot in stories like 9-11. There were so many stories of people's alarms not going off. There was a bank that decided to go on a retreat. There were subways that just stopped working. Sometimes God is not able to stop all the evil in the world because we have free will and we were given authority and we, uh, we abdicated that so that Satan has a lot of control. However, God does mitigate situations and it was a great example to see it and to kill a mockingbird with these two little kids walking home. And sometimes God shows up by hiding our clothes so we have to walk home in a ham uniform. Let me know what you think about God's divine intervention and if there's other moments in movies where you've seen the hand of God, even if that maybe wasn't what they were intending. All right, thanks so much. Talk to you soon.